Hi everyone, this is Jessica and today I wanted to do a book review on a book that I've read called Jade Green, A Ghost Story by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor. And this is actually my second time reading this book. I read it first a very long time ago when I was 14 in middle school, year 2002. So it was a different experience for me reading it then and reading it now. Um, so I have actually kind of a treat for you guys today. I'm bringing you two book reviews on this book. Not one, but two, and they're both by me because I actually have a review that I wrote for this book when I was 14. So it'll be interesting to hear, you know, what I thought about it at that age and what I think about it now, I think. Um, so this book is extremely, extremely, extremely short. You can read it in one sitting. This It's 169 pages. It took me maybe an hour and a half, two hours to read it. Um, it is such a great book, though. I loved it. Um, this book is about a girl named Judith, and it is the late 1800s, and her mother has just died in an, in, in an insane asylum, so she goes to live with her uncle Jeffrey in his mansion. He's, like, rich and whatever. So she goes to live with him, but on one condition. She cannot bring anything green into the house. She can't wear green, just no green, nothing. But she breaks the rule and brings in one green thing, and it is a green self picture frame given to her by her mother. And she puts it on the bottom of her suitcase, thinking if Uncle Jeffrey never sees it, what harm can it do? Boy, is she ever wrong. <laughs> so it's... um. It's a really, really great book, and as the title suggests, it is a ghost story. So, it's actually very, very scary. Um, this book I th is definitely aimed for for younger, younger kids, probably between maybe twelve and fifteen, I would say. But it's still it's very creepy, very, very creepy. Like even for me, but um. I'm a big baby anyway, everything scares me. But, um, really scary book, like, you know, not like super scary, but it's definitely enough to give you goosebumps and, and make a chill run up your spine. I actually, I want to read you guys a little excerpt from the book, if that's okay with you. Um, if not, then you could just turn the video off, but I promise you it, it won't give away any huge spoilers or anything. I just want to read this little part to you because <laughs> it really creeped me out, to tell you the truth. Um, all right. As I turned to get up, I gasped in horror and my breath stopped, for there on my rug lay a hand, a human hand, a girl's right hand, detached from arm and body. I slid back on the window seat until I was pressed against the glass, my hands covering my mouth. I tried to scream, but my breath was gone and no sound issued from my throat. I could only stare at the ghastly spectacle the limp white fingers, the delicate wrist, and then the jagged stump on which dried blood was visible, the broken connection of bone and muscle and skin. More terrible still, the fingers suddenly began to move, the palm to lift, until it was standing upright like some strange primordial creature. And that's all you get. That's a little teaser. But I just thought that was so creepy. And it's funny because I, when I went back and read my review of this book from when I was 14, this is the part that I wrote about, like, oh my god, that was so scary. So I guess it's like, some things never change, no matter how old you get. It's still going to be the same kinds of things that creep you out. But um, yeah, this is such a great book. I really, really enjoyed it. So I want to read you just a little bit of what I had to say about it when I was 14 years old, when I was just a wee little Jessica. Um, let's see. If you like suspenseful stories, then this is definitely the book for you. A lot of scary things happened, which is what we made me not be able to put the book down. I wanted to because I was getting so freaked out, but one thing after another kept happening, so I had to keep reading. I think the scariest part for me was when Judith found Jade Green's hand crawling across the rug. The way it was described and how Judith was feeling, I wanted to scream. I got really scared. 
especially because it was nighttime when I was reading it. <laughs> and it was actually nighttime when I was reading it this time around, too. So, again, some things never change. <laughs> Um, this author is really good, and somehow she can make you feel like you are right there in the book. Uh, this was a very good book, and I would recommend it to anyone who likes extremely suspenseful stories. So, that was my little review when I was younger. So, yeah. Really, really great book. I mean, this is one of those books that you just have to read in one sitting. Like, you don't have a choice in the matter, really. I mean, it's so short anyway, so why would you want to read it in any more than one sitting? But, um, yeah, I mean, even though it's aimed for younger people, I still think that you can enjoy this even if you're older, because it is kind of just a spine-tingly little story. So, great book. I recommend it. One more thing I want to say about this book, though. Um, I saw a lot of reviews on Amazon, one-star reviews from parents, who didn't think that this book was appropriate for their kids. And the reason for this is not because it's a ghost story, but because um, of some sexual content. Um, for one thing, there is uh, a male character in the story, and she, Judith does end up having feelings for this character, so you, know, you kind of get inside her head a little bit in what she's thinking about this boy. And there's also um, an older male character in the story who is just all around creepy and uh, there's some some references to to rape or potential rape so um, yeah a lot of parents were putting up reviews saying that this this was uh, inappropriate for their kids to read now I'm not really one for book censoring I really think that it really depends on the child's maturity level. So if you are a 12 year old and you want to read this book, I think it really depends on how mature you are about reading about sexual references, references that may have to do with heavier issues such as rape. So yeah, I, I guess I, I wouldn't put an age on it and be like, don't read this if you're any younger than this age. I think it's more of a maturity issue. But I wanted to just throw that out there in case anyone was planning on getting this for any, any kids that you know that would enjoy a good ghost story. You know, just be a good judge of character on, on the maturity level of the kid. But um, all around, great book. I really enjoyed it. So, yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.